Good evening. Thanks for joining us for this hour long edition of News 3 at 6. Student loan payments are resuming after a three year pause that began during the pandemic. Some borrowers will have to find new ways to balance their budget with part of their income going toward a new expense. News 3's Tyler Hoskins spoke with a financial planner today on what borrowers can do to help ease their budgets. Josh Landman is a financial advisor with Edward Jones. He says there's potential that more people will need financial advice now that student loan payments are starting back up. Clients are all shapes and sizes that we work with, but um, for students that are fresh coming out of A&M, it's pretty common to have student loans and come up with a plan for how we want to attack it. The U.S. Department of Education estimates the median total debt for undergraduate borrowers who attended Texas A&M is almost $18,000, with typical monthly payments set at $189. While those payments might hurt Americans' wallets, local economists say it should be short-term given the state of the economy. Uh, there's not been a big rise in unemployment. The Fed's uh, done a job sort of to uh, slow inflation, although we're still running above 2 percent. I think the economy's in a, in a good place. For those who might struggle to pay their bills, Landman says a budget is an excellent way to start finding that balance. Find out what your needs versus your wants are. So I know for everybody out there, going to Target feels like a need and going to the dollar section but it, is it really? I don't know about that. So figure out your needs versus your wants. Borrowers can wait to resume student loan payments until September 30th of next year, but interest will still accrue. So Landman says... Start paying those bad boys off. Pay them down as quickly as possible. No need to wait. You're just like pushing off the inevitable, but go ahead and pay them off and get them, get them off your plate. Move on to the next thing. In College Station, Tyler Hoskins, News 3. Borrowers can also apply for a new income driven repayment plan called the save plan, which will provide borrowers with the lowest monthly payments of any of those plans. 